In this video, I'm going to compare the difference in picture quality between capturing a VHS tape directly to a Hopodge capture device, and then we are going to run the video through the Hotronics AP41 time-based corrector and do a direct comparison to the picture quality from the non-time-based corrector. Then I'm going to take a macrovision encoded VHS tape and we're going to attempt to make a recording on a DVD recorder and on the Hopodge capture card in the computer using both the time-based corrector and without, and I'll even throw of the Videonics MX-1 into the mix so that you guys can see the difference. So what I've got here is I've got my basic old VHS player here. I've got it running through the scope and I'm not running through the time-based corrector now. It's going straight into my Hophog uh, HD PVR using the analog inputs. So first I start the tape playing and then I'll go and I'll click the capture button on the computer and uh, we'll start capturing the video. Now I'm going to monitor my video levels both going through. So we're going to have the same level going through for both. Um, through the, I'm going to set the proc amp on here so that our video levels are exactly the same. We're going to capture exactly the same thing. Uh, use the waveform monitor to verify that our signals are exactly the same. And then I'll set it up. We'll set up a split screen on the uh, on playback here I'll set up a split screen so that you guys can see the difference between the picture going through the time-based corrector and not so right now I'm doing the first capture which is the non time-based corrected and then I'll wire this up through TBC and we'll do it again Of course, the next thing we're going to show here is this is the macrovision signal, and you can actually see the macro keying signal here. But watch when the pulses come up; these are the macrovision keying signals, which are designed to stop a, a DVD recorder from recording or a VCR from recording. So 
I'm just playing a bit of Jurassic Park here and I'm going to try and make a recording onto a DVD RW disc here so that I can erase it after. We'll try it both through the uh, time based corrector and without it. So this is just the video playing on the waveform monitor and if I switch my, my scan frequency down here to vertical you'll see here's the macro vision signals right here in the vertical interval. There's also horizontal keying pulses as well. And if I expand this, we should actually even be able to see uh, the, the keying signals if I can find them here. My control is so dirty, it's kind of hard to find them. I think that's the keying pulses there that we're looking at. And then the, there they go, they're fading down. So this is the this is the keying pulses here, and then they'll come back up here momentarily. This is what makes the picture go brighter and darker when you're trying to record it. So those are the keying pulses there in the vertical interval, and if we look at the the horizontal, you'll see that there are keying pulses in the horizontal uh, frequency as well, which interfere. These are what scramble the signal. So let's see whether I can actually press record and see whether my recorder will kick in. I, it shouldn't. I want to be careful not to show too much of the uh, recorder here. If I kick hit record nothing happens and it says recording error the program is not allowed to be recorded so now let's just plug it into the time based corrector and see if it makes any difference. Well as you can see the uh, distortion signals are no longer in the video in the horizontal blanking and the vertical blanking is also gone so this time based corrector is completely removing the macro vision also it gives me the ability that I can I can adjust levels, I can adjust my black level for example and correct well, with a scope. Without a scope you're not doing this right but I can bring my video levels up a bit and I can bring my black levels down just to, to make the video levels as, as, as good as they can be. I can tweak it and now if I go over and hit record and I can also tweak the chroma phase and so forth because of the colors a little bit out because it is and I'll show you the screen here. So as you can see I can adjust the color. So if my color is a little bit off, you can actually tweak it, tweak it and make the color look perfect. But the most important thing is, will this recorder go into record when I press the record button? And the answer to that is, it will go into record and it will record this Macrovision encoded tape. Just to show that it actually did make the recording, I'm just going to hit the playback button here and I'm going to play back the recording that I put onto DVD here. And there is the recording, I can't show that obviously for more than a few seconds because uh, if I do I'm going to get in trouble but as you can see I'll put the camera in real close here so that we aren't going to make a strike on here but as you can see the uh, the color is excellent. So so there you have it the Hotronics AP41 digital frame store time based corrector if you're looking to uh, record analog video from say VHS tapes over to DVD um, this will get rid of the macro vision no problem if you can find one of these units and say these are uh, these are units that are being taken out of broadcast facilities they were used uh, these and better ones but a lot of these were used in in TV stations and in production facilities to make their video signals compliant for broadcast and uh, they do they do the job that they're designed they will completely restore the sync and they'll remove things that you don't want in the video signal such as uh, macro vision and stuff that's going to affect the uh, ability to make a recording but for the heck of it we'll just plug this thing in and I'll just see if I can make a recording on the computer from this tape and also with through with and without the time based corrector just so I can make a quick capture and see how it looks from this particular tape well here's trying to capture um, going without going through the time based corrector and as you can see macrovision on this tape is certainly uh, having an effect on the ability of my capture card it's freezing and stopping it and stuttering and it looks awful it's not working so let's take this and plug it through the time based corrector and watch that even digitizing it it will allow me to digitize whereas without it I can't do it because macrovision is preventing that uh, recording from uh, taking place. In fact, Macrovision messed with the uh, the capture uh, hardware so bad that it's actually locked it up and I'm going to have to do a power cycle to get my video back because it's not showing anything when I try to refresh it. The signal is now going through the uh, 
uh, the time based corrector, but it's caused my capture card to lock up. So I'm actually going to have to power cycle this thing to get it back online. Here we go, it's showing it is disconnected. So I've just power cycled the unit. There we go, now it's working. So I can hit to record here and uh, we'll be able to capture this. I do. I'm a, I'd love to have an opinion of a paleobotanist as well. <laughs> I've got a. Uh, see again. We can we can adjust our black levels here, and we can adjust our video level here as well to uh, get the very best quality. Although, in order to do that, you do need to have a waveform monitor. And I'm going to actually keep this thing down in the studio. And I was putting it in storage because I hadn't been using it, but. If I start using this uh, TBC for capture, I'll be uh, using this thing to make sure my levels are good before it goes into my capture card because I think it should make quite the difference in uh, the ability to capture. Anyway, let's take a look at the resulting video here and we can do a direct comparison. And for the heck of it, I'm just going to go grab that other uh, that other uh, unit that I've got, that uh, proc amp, and just see whether it actually will allow recording of this or not. So as you can see, here's the proc app that I cleaned all the controls on in that last video. And I've got the Macrovision protected tape playing through here. And as you can see, the Macrovision signal is still present. This is doing nothing uh, to remove the uh, Macrovision signal whatsoever. In fact, the Macrovision signal is causing even more distortion. Look at what's happening here to the levels here after the Macrovision pulse. We're seeing a huge, a huge drop in our sink floor here in our black levels. And if I go back to... Uh, that's the vertical sweep, but there's a horizontal sweep. And if we look at the computer monitor, uh, my capture card is not very happy. <laughs> Once again, we're back to this picture breaking up and freezing and so forth. So there you have it. Uh, this will not remove macrovision whatsoever. Um, the time-based corrector will, and I'll plug in my Videonics MX1 to prove that it will also remove macrovision. And here are the levels going through the Videonics MX1. All the MX1 is doing is feeding the video signal through it. As you can see, the macrovision signals are gone. Uh, a couple of these ones here that are still showing up in the horizontal. I see some keen pulses there. But uh, the macrovision signals here in the vertical are not going up and down like they were before. It's stripping them. And I can uh, hit the capture button on my computer and capture this. So I'll hit the capture button on here and I'm able to capture video from this tape with Macrovision feeding through the Videonics MX1. Oh, that looks like it got dropped. The lever got bent there. Okay, that's straight. Okay, as you can see, I'm able to capture. And there's the shot there from going through. Uh, and there's no distortions at the top of the picture or anything. This is going through the Videonics, just capturing. As you can see, it's recording. So, it works. Try and enjoy yourself. Let's get something straight, John. This is not a weekend excursion. In 48 hours, I'll be accepting your apology. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video showing the difference between uh, the MX1, Videonics, MX1, and this... Hotronics as far as its ability to remove macrovision and stabilize the picture and I hope the the tapes of that rock band um, slam that uh, I did when I was in my cable TV days uh, I hope you're able to see the difference in picture quality going through a time-based corrector versus not going through a time-based corrector and uh, again I hope that uh, this has answered some questions about why you may need a time-based corrector if you are capturing video they're always a good uh, piece of equipment to have even though they do slightly reduce the picture quality just because you're digitizing and then taking that digitized image taking it back to analog there's always going to be a slight uh, degradation of the picture but I think the uh, what you gain in terms of stability uh, outweighs what you lose in terms of sharpness